What's up, y'all? It's your boy Byron, an instructor. And a lot of people is asking me to talk about how do you go about flying with a firearm. So let's talk about it because there are a few mistakes that people often make. One, people under the impression that, oh, I can fly with a gun. So what they do is they put their firearm and they carry on luggage. That's definitely a big no-no. One, you will get arrested. Now the charges could be dropped, but guess what's not going away? The fine. So it could cost you a couple thousand dollars. Pretty expensive lesson to learn, right? Just remember, ignorance is no excuse for the law. So just because you didn't know you couldn't do that, doesn't make it all right. Now, number two, how do you prepare your firearm to fly? One thing you need is a safe. This is a nice one right here. It is TSA approved for you guys to travel with. So now, Let's go to the number two thing that people often do that could be a mistake. So now let's say you got your TSA approved case and you're ready to fly. So they'll have the firearm in here, but they'll have loaded magazines. Now, this is the tricky part about that. TSA hasn't been real anal about people having loaded magazines, but the airline. The airlines, depending on who you're flying with, don't like it. So, good rule of thumb to not miss your flight, not get jammed up. Do not have your ammunition in your magazines with the firearm. For number three, once again, when you're traveling, you want to take your ammunition with you, make sure it's in the box that you purchased it out of. Just because it'll make life a lot easier for you when you're at the airport. Now, I can say that because I literally had an airline steal my ammo. And they're not supposed to, but it happened. So I'm gonna leave the airline's name out of it for the current time, because they made it right. However, that was a headache and it was unnecessary. So, when you travel, make sure the ammo is in the box that you purchased it from, from a store. It's the best way to do it, because a lot of the airlines will list on their websites how much ammo you're allowed to fly with and how they prefer for the ammo to be packaged. But one thing, manufacturer's box, the way it came out of a store, is always a win when you ask me about it. Next up, once you get to the airport, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in line and you're gonna tell them you wanna check it back. You have to check your luggage that has a firearm in it. There's no way around that you have to do it. So when you go up and you may say, hey, how can I help you? Hey, I wanted to check in and I also wanna declare an empty firearm. Always make sure that you're telling them you want to declare a firearm in your bag. I just love to say that it's empty or unloaded because it makes them feel at ease. Now, once you go there and you say, hey, I'd like to declare a firearm, they're going to ask, okay, what bag is it in? You'll put your bag down and say, hey, it's in this bag right here. Now, with new policies and new things and different airline procedures, it's a good chance they're going to ask you to open your firearm case, right? And they'll say, oh, this magazine's unloaded. Do you have another magazine? Yes. It's in the firearm. Is the firearm unloaded? Yes. Now, they may ask you to remove the magazine, lock the slide back, or pull it back so they can see there's no bullets in there. So prepare yourself now so you're not angry later, okay? And I know a lot of people are like, well, I don't want them in my business, and you're flying with a gun. Don't get them a hard time about doing their job. You know what I mean? That's all they're there for. They don't make the rules. They just have to follow. Now, what will happen after you show them, or let's say they take your word for it, they're gonna give you, they're gonna have you sign a slip. They're gonna sign it. A lot of them will give you tape. Some might not give you tape. They'll just tell you to put this on top of your safe. So it's the little paper I signed, and they put it on there, the firearms unloaded. Now what happens next? Now this part can vary depending on the airport. So two things I've experienced happening. One, they will take your bag, they'll put it on the belt loader, it'll go off, TSA will see it, they'll scan it. If there are any problems, they'll usually come to you and tell you they need you to come over to the TSA booth. Some, in most places, they'll have you stand there for about 10 minutes just to make sure the TSA isn't gonna flag the bags in. If they flag the bag, they'll have you come over. TSA might want you to open the safe and look at it. That's all, easy piece, and then you go on your way. So that's another reason that when you're flying with a firearm, at least go to the airport two hours before your plane starts boarding, just in case. It's the dark side. 
So the one I don't like is if everything's crunch time and you've already went through the gate, I've been called out of the gate to give them my safe key because my bag wasn't right there so they could open the safe um, and check your firearm and make sure it's clear. I really do not like that. Now, the time that this happened, I wanted to argue about it, but at the same time, I couldn't afford to miss my flight. So, I got the name of the lady that took my key. She went, she brought my key back and said, here you are, you're good to go. So, if that does happen, don't be alarmed, but make sure you know the name of the individual that you're giving that safe key to. Because if something happens or goes missing out of your safe, you have a person that you left responsible with the key for that safe, okay? So that person had access to your firearm. So if anything goes wrong, just remember, get those names. In one airport, which made it really convenient, after you declare it, they put the sticker on the safe, you walk over to a TSA scanner with them, they scan the bag, TSA will bring you bag bag and say, hey, you're good. You take it, the airline will take your check bag, put it on the uh, belt, and you go to through your security check-in and you have a safe flight. So definitely, if you guys had any different experiences than this, let me know. Um, also, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and do another video where I'm actually at the airport. Um, I know sometimes they get a little tricky and funny, but I'm gonna try and see if I can get a video out for you guys while I'm at the airport actually doing it. So yeah, you know how it is. Fly with your firearm folks just do it if you can also know the gun laws to where you're going because that can also get you jammed up remember ignorance is no excuse from the law so make sure you educate yourself and as always have fun shoot safe let's go